Hi everyone, welcome back to a dog's vlog. It's officially spring quarter and that means it's also the last quarter of the year. So these are the last couple vlogs that you're gonna be seeing of my first year here at UW. Today I'm going to be talking about parents and family weekend which is happening starting today. Um, my mom's going to be driving up here to UW and we're gonna spend the whole weekend together. There's lots of events to do. And then also I'm going to do a little bit of an interview style with my mom. We're going to kind of sit down and look back at my process and everything I did to get here and kind of um, also my mom's perspective of sending off her only child um, to college for the first time. So uh, let's dive right in. Okay, right now I'm going down to the hub, the Husky Union building to meet my mom. She just got here. So let's go. Saturday morning and I just got ready. I'm about to head down to the hub to meet my mom for a breakfast and speech about mental health resources here on campus. It's a little bit rainy today so I have my rain jacket on. It has the UW logo on it and I got my rain boots. But again, please, we're happy to have conversations. I talked to a lot of parents who were like, my son or daughter's struggling with this, what would you recommend? Um, our counseling center is also great at consulting. We're happy to have conversations, so please feel free to reach out. monster uh, my mom and um, I didn't really introduce her before um, but we've been spending the weekend together and we're just going to talk about some frequently asked questions and concerns of other parents and also talk about our experience with me going here to UW okay what was it like sending your only child off to college it was good I was excited and so proud of her for getting into UW and um, it was scary. I was sad because I was gonna be home alone, empty nester all by myself. But um, it's been good, especially because it's been close enough. I come home a lot if I need to. What were you most concerned about 
when sending me to college. I was nervous about her making new friends. She had some kids from her high school that were going to be here, um, but I wanted her to branch out and make new friends and just explore all the different opportunities. And I was nervous that she um, would be just quiet. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's a big school. I think <clears throat> that's a lot of parents' concerns because it's so big that like you have to really find that like community. Your, your niche, yeah. Really quickly to go through kind of like what happened when I was like picking a school. You helped me a lot with like the whole process, like reviewing my essays and stuff. And Right, and I guess my biggest thing was, you know, apply to where you want to go to. Let's not think about how far away it is from home, just where do you want to go, where would be a good fit, and then we'll weed it out if you don't get in. Um, and so it worked out that she was accepted to two schools in state, and she was accepted out of state too, but um, just decided that UW was going to be the best match for her. She wanted the bigger school um, with all the opportunities that UW had available for her. Can you tell other student supporters about the UW Facebook page? Um, the parents page has been great. Um, there's been lots of variety of topics covered on the page. I'll go on there and um, just see kind of what the current topics are. Parents having trouble with their kids maybe being lonely or um, having a hard time in the parents other parents on the page can give good suggestions. Would you suggest that to other parents? Too? Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's just there's good suggestions on there, and for parents who are having trouble, maybe to reach out on the page. What advice would you give other student supporters who have a child who's probably going to be attending college soon? I guess you just have to have faith that you've prepared them <laughs> as best you can. Um, they're grown-ups and they, they've got to make some decisions on their own. That was really tough. I've always kind of been there along the way. If they're quiet or if they're outgoing or, you know, they're going to find their space. It may take time, but they're going to get there. I so just like keep contact um, with, for, any, with anybody though, like whether yeah. it's a parent, uh, a family friend, a teacher or anything. Like I still have a lot of teachers that I stay in contact with that kind of help guide me too. Um, especially through my majors um, and so yeah definitely any any form of student supporter just make sure to stay in contact and kind of check in with them because that's really important. And for students understand that um, when you text them at 11 at night maybe um, that they may not respond till morning because they're already in bed because they have to work. So I'm obviously living on campus um, do you remember like what that process was and like why we decided that? Um, I definitely, especially as a freshman, I encourage you to be on campus. Um, uh, I did go to college and lived in the dorms, and um, for that, me for for me, that was very critical. I think in growing apart from my family and um, just separating, becoming my own person. Like I know people that live on campus all four years. I know people that only live one year. It just kind of depends what fits for you. Um, but it just made the most sense in our situation. Right. You have your RAs who are planning activities and trying to get um, kids involved. You also have everybody going through the same thing as you. Right. So like, I remember the first couple weeks, like this guy's like, uh, is there like laundry soap downstairs? Like, is that in the laundry rooms? So and we're like, no, you have to have your own. He's like, oh, okay. Like, if any student supporters have any questions about the college process, um, sending a child off to college, uh, you know, moving into the residence halls, or just, you know, attending college in general, com comment below. Make sure to subscribe to this uh, channel and also like this video um, and share with your friends or any other student supporters so that they can kind of hear what our process was like and um, see what it's like for us and um, maybe for them too here at UW. And I'll see you next time and Momster's gonna head out. Bye! Bye.